everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my Instagram journey. Basically, how I started my Instagram, how it grew, and just sharing any little tips and tricks that I have to try to get your account started. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for any more bookish content. So I started my bookstagram last year, February 19th, 2021. It was a random night and this originally was going to be like a photo dump account for myself. I was reading a book and I just took a picture of it and posted it. And I would just post like random pictures. You can kind of see like earlier on in my feed, just a bunch of random stuff. And then I started posting more about my hobby, which is reading. You can see that like I start posting more and more and more about books until that was like the only thing that I really posted on this account. So I think the first thing you want to ask Ask yourself is what is your niche what do you want to dedicate your Instagram to whether it be like a hobby like reading your clothes sports comic books movies TV shows literally could be anything but I think you want to pick like something that you're really really interested in and something that you're passionate about something that you could talk about for hours and hours and hours then once you decide your niche and what you want to dedicate your Instagram to I would figure out what exactly you want to post so for me when you look through my old feed I still have the same exact style of photos like I don't use filters I don't do anything I just adjust the brightness a little bit because I like minimalistic bright white photos that is like my aesthetic if you will so that is how I decided I want to take my Instagram pictures there are tons of ways to take your photos on Instagram. I think a key thing is to be authentic and to be unique. I feel like you can really tell when someone posts a picture if they're trying to, I guess, copy someone versus it's their own thing. A lot of my friends have different styles and I love it. So for example, Logan and I, our feeds are very bright, they're very white. Then you have other feeds like Shelly and Tanya, they use a filter and it's a little bit more darker with some shadows. I think it all looks really good together. And then you have people like Carrie and Jamie. They seem to have a lot of color in their Instagram account. You have people like Julia and Ariana and they have, I want to say like very earthy tones, right? And then there are accounts who use tons of props like Christina, Maya, Melina, and Carly. So all of those are different examples. All of us post the same content, but you can see that all of our posts are unique and all of these accounts are very successful as well in posting about what they do. And I think it's because they post things that are unique. They don't copy anyone and you can see that it's genuinely them and they put an effort into their posts and what it looks like. So I know some people like don't know what the first thing to post is. Honestly, I would just post a bunch of random pictures based on the thing that you want to dedicate your Instagram account to. If you scroll down to my account, you can see all of my posts are pretty random and then once I get to a certain point I found a style that I really liked and I stuck with it throughout the whole year I think that's one way to do it I would just experiment see what works for you see what doesn't so I know accounts will post reviews they'll post edits reels just other things and I think that's what makes Instagram so fun is there are endless amounts of possibilities that you could post in your posts use hashtags pertaining to whatever it is that you're posting I would do a mix of both pictures and reels also try to have like some photo dumps because those do really well where like you have like different photos in one slide I would just mix up your content and then see what does well see what doesn't a lot of the accounts that I follow and a lot of the accounts that I like to see post a variety of all of those different things that goes into my next tip which is post things that you're genuinely proud of and things that you love because I think if you post things that you're passionate about and things that you love like I feel like that energy is going to correlate with people who see your content I think it's because I post about the books that I love people can see how much I love it and people can see my passion for it and then they just resonate with those posts. And I just want to preface this by saying numbers do not equal a successful account. I think a successful account is someone who loves what they post and is proud of their content. I could have a ton of followers and then I could be not proud of the content that I post because I don't like what I post. So the followers wouldn't really mean anything if that makes sense. So I think this kind of goes in with one of the questions that I got. One of the questions that you guys asked me was how to stay active. How many times do I need to post? on my account to be successful. I feel like a lot of these answers are cliche, but they really do work. Post as many times as you want. Staying active for me, I love 
posting about the books that I read. I love to fangirl. Like I love finding people who love the same things that I love and being able to talk about it with other people because I love being passionate about something and then finding someone with that same passion. So for me, staying active is not difficult because I love to create things and I love to just post about it. But if you don't want to post, don't post. But I think the number one thing too is to be consistent in what you post and interact with your followers because they follow you for a reason. I like to go on live a lot. I always reply to my comments or at least I always try to when I have time. I just chat with people because these people have an interest in whatever you're posting too. So for me, they have an interest in books and I love to talk to people about books. And I know a lot of you guys are asking me like, how to gain followers really think that if you do these things people will be attracted to your account don't come into this with the intention that like you're gonna gain like 30,000 followers in like a week I've been doing this for a year and my Instagram didn't pick up until maybe about like six or seven months into this because I'm so passionate about it and because this is something I genuinely enjoy I wasn't in a rush to I guess kind of grow gaining followers wasn't my number one goal I just wanted to post about something that I love and meet other people who loved the same thing that I did I know that there are some accounts who post templates like Logan Melina Maya Pauline they all post like different templates on their stories and have their followers use those templates which you know can help with engagement and stuff like that I know a lot of people like myself will do Q&A's I'll do polls on my story just try to use things to get people to interact with my content because I want people to be in interested in what I post so that way like I have people to talk about things with. If you're trying to grow your account I think just being consistent, being genuine, and just being proud of what you post I think that's going to go a long way and I think all of those things are just going to show in your content and that's what's going to attract people to whatever you post. Another question that I got was how to reach out to brands, collaborations, and stuff like that. I'm just going to use my account as an example. I am an account that posts about books and reviews different books. So I personally have reached out to publishing companies asking to either be a part of their influencer list or asking for a specific copy of a book so that I can read and review it. This can be for like any industry. How I would approach this is I would email the brand. I would introduce who you are and what you do. So for me, I'm Jasmine. I post book content specializing in romance books. What you post, I post reviews, recommendations, book quotes, my favorite book scenes, and just funny bookish scenarios. And your stats. So things like your follower count, your reach, your engagement, just things like that I feel like brands are going to want to see. So you want to be transparent and share that with them. And I would also include like example posts that you have. So an example of a review. So for me, I can send an example of a review that I have that was published by this publishing company or a review that was published by this author. Don't be afraid to email and don't be afraid for a rejection because I have been rejected tons of times from different publishing companies. I just say put yourself out there and if they're gonna send you something they're gonna send you something if they're not they're not and it's not the end of the world and you can always try again later so specifically for book accounts I know a lot of people ask me how I get advanced copies of books it can range from different things sometimes the publishing company can reach out to me and ask me if I want to review something sometimes I will take the initiative myself email the publishing company and ask them if I can have a copy of that book so I can review it either a physical copy or an e-copy that I can read on my Kindle something you can also do is sign up for NetGalley. I have a NetGalley account. Sometimes very popular titles are on there. You just sign up there and fingers crossed and hope that you get approved for the book. I've gotten plenty of rejections on NetGalley. I also got a few questions on how to make friends in the community that you're in. So for example, I'm in the book community. I've met some of my closest friends through the book community and I'm very, very thankful. How it worked for me was I would follow people whose content I genuinely enjoyed seeing. I would like it, comment on it, share it on my story or something, swipe up on their stories, and if they replied, they replied. If they didn't, they didn't. I think people can see if you genuinely want to be friends with them versus if you only talk to them for a follow or because of their following number. That's personally not what I'm in the bookish community for. I'm in the book community to share my thoughts on my favorite books or just books that I read in general and make friends who have the same likes and dislikes as me. And I feel like when someone approaches another account asking to share their posts, follow them that will definitely draw people back from wanting to support your account this kind of goes back in with what i said about authenticity if your account is copying other people's content only trying to reach out to people just to share your stuff but not really interacting with anyone else in the community i feel like it's going to show 
simply liking and commenting and sharing people's posts I think that's a great way to try to make friends without being too overbearing so someone asked me what do you do about being bullied it's hard because I know how it can feel like when you have people you know in real life like looking at stuff like this but at the end of the day this is something I love and something I enjoy and something I'm passionate about if someone I know in real life makes fun of me for it what are you gonna do I can't do anything about it this is what I enjoy so I'm not gonna let someone else's opinions affect my happiness I think I think one thing that really helps too is that when you have an account and you meet people within that community you all just kind of support each other I think the support that you get from your friends can come a long way and mean a lot and that's it for today's YouTube video I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped answer a few of your guys's questions if you have any more questions just leave a comment down below and I will try my very best to answer this but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one Bye.